Hello everyone, I am David Guerra and welcome to episode 212 of the Walking Leader Podcast. As always, the Walking Leader Podcast is an audio tool for you, current and future leaders, to sharpen your skills and hone your craft. As always, I'm here to help you every step of the way. Thus, without delay, let's get this episode started. Again, a welcome to episode 212. So um, today's title or the title of this episode is Why Do I Need Self-Leadership? And it's a very good question. It's a question you ask yourself and sometimes you ask yourself more than once throughout your life and sometimes even as you're going along through your leadership process and you're you're becoming who you want to be and you're becoming the leader you want to follow you're going to ask yourself, why do I need self-leadership? And in in some cases it's very easy, in some cases it's kind of difficult, but again It's subjective. There's no cookie cutter approach to this. So please know there is nothing cookie cutter about what we're going to talk about and where we're going to go and what we have to do. So the first question, the first question is why? And the first question is actually the uh, the title is the title to this episode. Why do I need self leadership? And the answer, the why is is the simplest answer. Why? Because you want to lead yourself. You want to step away from being told what to do every day of your life. You want to be the individual that would rather lead yourself to greatness than to be the one that has to be led around by the nose from point A to point B. That's who. That's why. That's you. And why? Because you want to be the one that's in charge of your life. You want to move yourself from point A to point B by yourself. And along the way, you're leading by example. So obviously, there's going to be a team there to support you, and you're there to support the team. And we'll talk more about that later. But it takes that initiative. It's that first step. It's realizing that, hey, I've got to do this, and I've got to do this now. So then the question becomes, when do you need self-leadership? Well, the answer is always, under all conditions, under all circumstances, under all situations. Whether you're in a position of leadership or management or not yet, you should always be leading yourself. That's non-negotiable. See, leading yourself in the form of, well, taking the initiative, making a decision and sticking to it. Now, careful here. Making a decision and sticking to it, whether it's good or bad, Whatever the outcome is, whether it's good or bad, you made the decision, you stuck to it, okay? Now, there's going to be, and careful here, because sometimes you'll see like, whoa, that might not be the right thing to do. That might not be the best action to take, but you have to make a decision, you have to stick to it. And sometimes those good leaders will let you make that and stick to it and make that decision and stick to it and follow it through to the end, knowing they fully well know it's going to be a bad one, but you need to learn. And when you have leaders like that, that don't hold the bad outcome against you is that they see potential in you. They see the potential in you becoming a leader, a great leader, a leader, a better leader than them. And those are the kind of leaders you want to follow. Those are the kind of leaders you want to seek out and and find because they project that image of, you know, it's okay. And we'll talk about those leaders further down the road. But for now, Be careful because there will be some quote unquote leaders, managers at best, who will hold that bad decision against you, who will not let you make the mistake, who will let you make the mistake and then call you on it and and say you're a terrible person, you shouldn't be leading, you'll never be a good leader because you're making bad mistakes. Well, you know, if they're not letting you make bad mistakes and they're not encouraging you to try again and make better mistakes or not make a mistake at all because you're learning from your mistakes. So again, now we're not diverging off to the bad manager, bad leader kind of thing, but it's out there and don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. And that's the point I'm trying to make here is not to be discouraged. So whatever you do, don't let it get you down. It's going to happen. You're going to run into this. But whether you make a decision and it turns out good or it turns out bad, whatever it is, take responsibility. Own it. Take responsibility. Don't say, well, if my manager had only just told me this, I wouldn't have made that mistake. Maybe they chose not to tell you that because they knew something was going to happen. You are not paying your dues just yet, but maybe they also want to see how you're doing in those situations when you do fail. So, yes, it's easy to take the responsibility for the good stuff, but it's hard the first go around. It's difficult to take responsibility for yourself when things don't go as planned. 
But once you start making, taking responsibility and making it yours and owning it, and it, it's who you are and that's how you come across and that's what you deliver constantly, then guess what? They're going to see that. They're going to see that, you know what? He made a mistake. She made a mistake. She's going to own up to it. She's going to own it. And guess what? She's also going to learn from it. So take that responsibility for yourself. What you say and what you do, no matter what you say, no matter what you do, and no matter what you fail to say or you fail to do, take responsibility. Oh, I, sh I knew better. I should have done that. Oh, I knew better. I should have said that. And you go forward with that. But take that responsibility for yourself constantly, consistently, and don't pull any punches. And the sooner they see that, hey, wait a minute, this individual is not going to be pointing fingers, but this, this individual owns their mistakes, they start seeing the leadership potential in you. And again, those that don't see that leadership potential, they're seeing the negative. Well, they're not even classified as bad managers, and I'll stick to that all the way to the end. Also, always be leading yourself and never wait to be told what to do. But be careful here. Do not go around volunteering for everything. See, constantly volunteering. This is something I learned back from the Army days. Somebody who wiser than me once said, Dave, don't, don't be volunteering for everything. Pick and choose. And let's, let me explain this. And it makes sense. See, because when you're constantly volunteering, it shows you're ready to do whatever is asked of you. No questions asked. Here, we need you to go uh, sweep, the, sweep the street. We need you to go take this ammo over here. We need you to go fire off. We need you to go lead this mission, right? We need you to go on this mission. We need you to follow these people, right? So constantly volunteering for that it shows that you don't have the initiative. You, yeah, yes, you're taking and you're raising your hand and you're going off and doing stuff. Sometimes it's not what you're trained to do. Sometimes it is what you're trained to do. And sometimes it's what you see as, well, you know what? You've put in your dues. You really shouldn't have to be sweeping the street. But it happens because you volunteer for it. Now, on, on the flip side of that, never volunteering shows you are not prepared to follow. You're not prepared to be a member of the team. You're not ready to play by the team with the team. And you are certainly not ready to lead. Because again, if you're not out there paying your dues, how do you know? How do they know? How do you put yourself? You can't just say, well, I'm a leader and I will not volunteer for anything because leaders don't volunteer for anything. Sometimes leaders got to do what leaders need to do. Sometimes the job has to get done. And sometimes you're going to see those leaders out there and you're going to be surprised like, hey, why is he volunteering? Because no one else did. So again, careful. Volunteering, never volunteering, shows you are not prepared to follow. You're not prepared to be a member of the team. And leaders, well, you've got to be prepared. you got to be a member of the team. You have no choice. You need a team, as I mentioned earlier. They're there to support you, and you are most certainly there to support them. Now, occasionally volunteering, here's the good thing. Here's where that fine line goes. Occasionally volunteering shows you you will pick and choose, and you're willing to step in when you need to step in, but you're not going to be volunteering all the time and they just can count on you to go sweep the street because they need somebody to sweep the street. If that's not you, then you don't need to sweep in the sidewalk. I said street, yes, because yeah, I've done that, okay? No, I was voluntold. But what I'm getting at is it happens. So be careful. You know, the next time somebody else got picked and it's one of those things that people should not volunteer for. It's got to get done, but people are not going to volunteer for that. But when there is constant volunteering... You're going to be the go-to person to sweep that street, rain or shine, whether it's raining or not. It happens. So think about it. Pick and choose when you volunteer, but volunteer a little bit more than you don't volunteer. You know, kind of weigh it, maybe 60-40, because there should be other people. Now, I know you're not in the military, and those of you that are, kudos to you, and the same applies, but same thing at work. You know, we need someone to lead this project. We need someone to do this. And going right, off the, right out of the gate, be careful. Without a doubt, be careful. I mean, it, we could sit here ad nauseum and just kind of break it all down, but no, we're not going to. Ad infinitum, we're not going to do that. No, but just know that it's um, it will get easier. See, and well, let me re let me backtrack just a little bit. How do you know when you need to self lead? When you need to be a self leader? When you need to self lead yourself? Well, again, it gets easier, and it does get easier. But I'll, I'll explain how it does get easier. See, because there is an easy answer to how do you know when you need to be a self-leader? And the answer is, the easy answer is, you just know. And the hard answer, the difficult answer is, you just know. And the trick here is that you usually do not know 
until you're well past knowing you need it. What do I mean by this? You know when you find yourself in a situation where you're just spinning your wheels, you're doing the same thing you were doing, you're doing the same thing today that you were doing this time last year. That's when you know. Yes, you should have taken the you should have taken advantage of it. You know, give yourself a month last year and said, okay, well, this is what I want to do. And some people did. Kudos to them. Kudos to them. But if you find yourself doing the same thing you did last year, is because why? You do not have self-leadership. You're not leading yourself. You're not waking yourself up. You're not putting your feet on the ground. You're not saying to yourself, how am I going to be better today than I was yesterday? See, the trick, again, and it's not really a trick, but it's just open your eyes, open your mind a little sooner. Don't wait for a year to pass by and you start realizing, oh, I haven't done squat. That's it. See, there will come a time when you realize that there is more that you want than just the status quo or the mediocrity you continually find yourself in. If you want to call it mediocrity. Okay? You want to be on the other side of the bell curve. You know what a bell curve is, right? It goes high in the middle and low on both ends. And as you read it from left to right, the low end on the far left is below average. The middle is the average. And then on the far right, the drop down on the far right, that is above average. You want to be on the above average side. You want to be out of that mediocre, that medium, the status quo. And like I said, usually when you come to that point in time when you realize that there's more that you want, it's usually when you're well past the time you should have known it well past the time you should have known it. And with that being said, you have to, you have no choice. You've got to work on it and you've got to change and you've got to decide, hey, wait a minute. There's something more here and there's something I'm missing and there's something I'm not doing and you need to take charge of yourself. You need to take some time to reflect, to see who you're listening to, who the right people you're listening to and not acting with who the wrong people you're listening to and you're acting with, right? And then you need to decide for yourself what is that balance? Because yes, there's going to be the toxic people in our lives. There's going to be the wrong people in our lives, whether we like it or not. And there's going to be the good people. There's going to be the exemplary people. There's going to be the above average people in our lives, whether we like it or not, or they like it or not. But we need to decide. We need to decide what the balance is and then start swinging over to the above average and then start adjusting accordingly because eventually you know you're going to have to have higher caliber above average to make up for that heavy side of the below average or average that you're trying to escape from and it's a balance until you're on that above average side where it's all leaning towards you and you're good to go i know it sounds a little confusing but it's what needs to be done and I could sit here all day, like I said, for all day long, ad nauseum, ad infinitum, make this podcast longer and longer. But the thing I'm just trying to make here is that there is no easy answer. There is no hard answer because every day is different. So how do you know when you need to be a self-leader, when you need to lead yourself? You wake up with that mindset every day. You wake up with the mindset of, this is it. I've got to be better than yesterday. You go to bed tonight with the mindset of, I have to be better than I was today. I have to be better tomorrow than I was today. And when you wake up tomorrow morning, you need to strive to be better. Just, it doesn't have to be any huge benchmark on 100%. No, 1%. Just be 1% better because as you increase 1% exponentially, eventually it'll be 100 times percent better than you were. And it works that way. And it truly does work that way. So be careful. Be careful. Careful in the sense of don't get too wrapped up in trying to do too much too soon. It does take time. It will take time. There's no magic pill. There's no secret formula. There's no one click and you're, all your problems are solved. And, and that's it. One phone call is not going to solve your problems. It might just scratch the surface, but it's not going to solve your problems. But hey, that's where you figure out what you need to do. But you're the only one that needs to figure it out. You're the only one. And that's why it's called self-leadership. You're leading yourself. So you need to be the one to know at that point what's not necessarily the rock bottom, but if you see rock bottom coming, you need to act on it. Oh, but in movies and TVs, it's the rock bottom. Rock bottom is where it's all at. No. Rock bottom is, that's the only way they sell movies and TV shows is to create that drama. But your life doesn't have to be that drama. 
Your life does not have to be, oh, I got to hit rock bottom. No, but you know what? Your life can be like, oh, I can see over the horizon and I see the end coming. I need to do something now. We had plenty of warning with this COVID-19 situation. We had plenty of warning. It was coming. It was coming. And I'm not talking politics. But we saw it coming. We saw that things were going to change and the world was going to change. And whether we wanted to admit it or not, it changed. And here we are at the other side of this. And we're not done yet. There's plenty more coming, I guarantee you. But if we're not prepared for that and if we're not pretty ready to deal with it as individuals, then you get exactly what you deserve. And it's true. You get exactly what you deserve. You get stuck with those bad managers. You get stuck with the status quo. You get stuck with the mediocrity. And you're over here trying to find out, what about me? Don't I deserve better? And the answer is, yes, you do deserve better. But what are you doing about it? If you go into any situation, it's like, well, I put myself out there. I deserve this. I deserve that. You know, again, part of my French, but bullshit. You deserve that. That's all you deserve. You start anything with the intention of, I need to get paid for it. I need to be given something. I need to be reciprocated. And you're not leading yourself to be above it, but just be part of the crowd. Then yes, you get exactly what you deserve. Cow patties, cow chips. That's what you get. That's what you deserve. And that's going into it. That's exactly what you're going to get back. Because there's no one owing you anything. You owe it to yourself to work. You owe it to yourself to put in that work. You owe it to yourself to rise above it every single day. So step away from the status quo. Step away from the mediocrity. And guess what? Why do you need leadership? Because you have to lead yourself. We have reached the end of this episode, and if you have any, qu- if you have a question, then leave me a voicemail at the Walking Leader Hotline at nine five six seven two zero 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 six zero, or tweet it at me, or tweet it to me at Dave Guerra. And you've been listening to the Walking Leader podcast with me, David Guerra. Come back next time, where we continue taking the steps on our walking leader journey to becoming better followers, better leaders, great followers. And remember. We must always go beyond the grind and go beyond the hustle because today and every day, that is the only way to be the walking leader and a leader that is truly great to follow.